What is the relationship between music and architecture? Is there any relationship at all? These are the questions I'm exploring in City Rama by creating a piece of visual music inspired by one particular building in the City of London. At the outset, I should explain that I don't regard architecture as being frozen music. Far from it. To my mind, it's perfectly possible for the geometry of buildings to conjure up the constantly moving rhythms of sound. Such is the case in my chosen building, the Leadenhall building, colloquially known as the cheese grater. I knew from the beginning that its patterns of visual expression would offer a rich source of material for my proposed piece of visual music. The cheese grater makes its mark by revealing structure, services and circulation routes on the outside. The workings of the building are not hidden, but instead they become the means of expressing its nature and function, an approach that produces a wealth of pattern-making material. So what are these patterns? I think first and foremost, what I've found is a series of light motifs. I'm making use of the musical connotations of this term quite deliberately. Sometimes these are small details, as you see here. At other times, they are whole elevations or complete spaces, but always they serve to capture a design language that produces architecture of exceptional quality. Before I go further, I need to explain the source of my music. I'm a clarinetist, and so often in my visual music pieces, I choose a lesser known composition for solo clarinet. The choice is not arbitrary. I'm looking for a close match between the piece's ordering of movement through rhythm and my ordering of images through pattern. For City Rama, I found it in Richard Rodney Bennett's Sonatina for solo clarinet. It's in three movements, each containing constantly changing rhythmic patterns. My realization of the first movement introduces a set of repeat patterns, all derived from my light motives. Each pattern is continually changing and evolving, and it's in this form that I project my patterns onto the slanting facade of the cheese grater, as you'll see in this excerpt from the first movement of City of Armour. If this was to happen in reality, it would be the largest light show in town, if not the world. What a sight that would be. But for the present at least, it must remain a computer simulation. In the second movement, I create a series of reverse explosions. As you see here, fragmented components of my light motives gradually come together to reveal the architectural elements from which they are derived. I'll play an excerpt. In the last movement, I'm confounding the eye with a series of quick change collage. It's the most rhythmic of my three movements, with each collage revealing a different arrangement of my light motives, as I'll now demonstrate. <laughs> You will have seen, in my piece of visual music, an ordering of images that has taken flight into a realm of fantasy, where the rhythms of music have joined the patterns of architecture in mutual celebration. And there's much to celebrate in the cheese grater, 
a fact that inspired my piece in the first place. I am pleased to be able to tell you that far from being aghast at my treatment of their building, both the developer and the architects are delighted with Cityrama.